um, for bringing the situation to light. Obviously, I was saddened and shocked um, after reading this report, but I'm glad, I'm very glad to see there's a plan in place and the appropriate action will be taken. Um, unfortunately, some people have been allowed to sip through the cracks, but the reality is, folks, the reality is, is I inherited a complete mess at Toronto Community Housing. I, wa I wanna thank um, the councillors that sit on um, the board, Councillor um, Ajumeri, Councillor Platzio, Councillor Bailao, and Madam Chair, um, Councillor Nunziata. Um, there's no secret, I have a special place in my heart for people that live in Toronto Community Housing. I'm sure like all of us do. Um, I've visited thousands of units for the last 13 years. I take comfort knowing that Mr. Jones is here and one year he has proven that you can turn things around and he's not coming back and always saying, I need more money. I need more money. He has not once came into my office and said, I need more money. He said, we have to find efficiencies and that's exactly what we're going to do. And he has done that. You look at what the auditor said in 2011. It was absolutely appalling what these people were doing at Toronto Community Housing. Well, the most vulnerable people couldn't get anything fixed. And I want to remind you, why did I get rid of the board? I'll tell you why. When you're spending over $100,000 on Christmas parties, two Christmas parties, $2,000 meeting at a spa, three course meals, $6,000 on a Muskoka retreat, $3,000 on resorts and getaways, $2,000 on boat cruises, thousands and thousands of dollars, we don't know, for birthday parties, there was no receipts, $1,000 for chocolates, $1,000 for gift cards, $5,000 dinners at high-end restaurants, hospitality, luxurious golf courses, and $800 or more for massages. What sort of massages? We don't know. As you know, in 2011, the Auditor General reported on procurement practices. Let me tell you how we saved $10 million. I want to thank again Mr. Jones for leading the charge and Bud Purvis. <coughs> Procurement practices. Purchasing together, five and a half million dollars. They didn't even know how many cars they had at Toronto Community Housing. They didn't even know how many vehicles they had. They put it with our fleet services, 2.6 million dollars holding the employees accountable for every single dime they spent, another million dollars. That's true accountability, that's true leadership. That's what I want to thank again Mr. Jones and Mr. Purvis and the hardworking counselors for taking the bull by the horns and getting to the bottom of it. If you want to compare this administration against the previous one about numbers and evictions, Amazing. These numbers are amazing. In 2007, 323 people got evicted. I wonder who was mayor then. 2008, 514 people got evicted. I wondered who was mayor then. 2009, 427 people got evicted. All of a sudden, 2011, we go to 514 to 198. Cut it in half. I know who was mayor in 2011 who cut those numbers in half. I am. I was. Talk about seniors. Oh, 20, uh, 2008, 32. 32 seniors were evicted. In 11, 13. A third. Obviously, my administration is doing the right thing and previous administrations 
we're doing the wrong thing. Thank and you. again, I want to thank Eugene Jones thank for his Mayor. phenomenal leadership. Thank you, Mayor Ford. Your time's up. Uh, we do have questions. Councillor Perks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I take it you've read the Ombudsman's report, so you'll be familiar with, uh, say, for example, uh, her statement number 308, that in the fall of tw 2011, the pendulum began to swing in the other direction and there was a new focus on the collection of arrears. So are you at all concerned that during your administration there was a new focus on collecting arrears and that from the Ombudsman's report this has led to the eviction and death of seniors in Toronto? Well, that is not true. That is not so so the, Ombuds the Ombudsman's report is not correct? People are not going to live free at Toronto Community Housing. Councillor Perks, I think you can agree that you have to be there to see the improvements that have been made under the new leadership of Mr. Jones. I have seen it firsthand. Who's up there? So oh, okay, if you think you. people are going to live for free at Toronto Community Housing, no, they're not going to live for free. Thank you. It's helpful to understand that that's your I don't. Position. I don't care if you're no, two no, years no. old, 20 years old, or 200 I, I, years thank old. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're not going to no, live no, for free. No, by saying that, you, that you've now answered my question, I understand your attitude. Um, on my next question, you, you make a, a point of pride, and in fact, on, on uh, the 31st of uh, May, you held a press conference, and during that press conference, you talked about how you uh, visit uh, all these buildings, how TCHC is close to your heart, and you return all the calls. How many seniors have called you saying, I'm about to be evicted, and how many of them have you saved their unit for? Not one person has called me a senior and say that they're going to get evicted. Okay, given that not one person has called you and said that Thousands have called me saying they need help. I, I, I appreciate that. They need that. their places fixed. I appreciate Unfort that. And lots in your ward too. So I, you know, I'm not well, quite I, sure I, what the local council is doing, but I travel all over the city and I shouldn't have to do that. As the I, local I, council, you I, should be taking I agree care with of that. You shouldn't be doing that. Um, given that no, none of the seniors who've been evicted and are described in this report phoned you, do you think it's actually the correct management style that we rely on the chief executive to get a personal phone call in order to provide service, or do you think we should actually implement structural changes to stop seniors from being evicted? Well, as far as I know, no seniors have called me saying they're being evicted. Um, if there is a problem, I'm sure, point, I'm sir. sure, Councillor, if I could answer the question. The perks, don't interrupt, allow the answer. Um, I'm sure that Toronto Community Housing s sends notices, okay? I'm sure they call these people, I'm sure they go knocking on their door. So if you can't get a hold of somebody, how, and they owe thousands and thousands of dollars, regardless if they're seniors or not. Let's go back to the David Miller era, these numbers again. Well, I, I'm curious. No, hold on. Oh, uh, they owe thousands out. and thousands uh, of dollars. I know, I know what? it's sensitive. Now, I know thousands it's sensitive. and thousands of dollars, now, then what? I know, I know it's sensitive. I know it's sensitive. You're the same person. You're the same person okay. that condoned Maybe. all this. Mayor Ford, okay, okay, that's it. Count, okay, okay, we'll go to the next one. Councillor, Councillor Vaughn, question. Councillor Vaughn. Do you support Vaughn. the findings in this report wholeheartedly? I, I can't say I agree with everything, but I thank her for bringing it to light. What do you disagree with? Well, there's many things because you can't just say people are getting evicted and saying it's worse in this administration than it was in the previous. It's not true. I have the facts here that more people were evicted under David Miller's regime than under Rob Ford's. That's a fact. Councillor McConnell, that, keep it down. Okay, that's a fact. Councillor McConnell. We need a story for Honestly. Do you support, do you support using language do you, yes, do you he's support, getting information. Do you Councilor support, Carroll, please keep it down. We don't need to hear from you. Yes. When a tenant speaks a different language, well, Vietnamese, no Portuguese, Sorry, Farsi. Just a sec. Councilor Vaughn is asking his question. Councilor Desit. I have just been told to keep my mouth shut by another councillor. I take offence to that. Oh. Okay. Well, as you know, I want an well, thank you. Okay. Continue, Councilor Vaughn. Oh. Well, I don't know who said, uh, Councillor Doucette. Ford told me to keep my mouth shut. Well, you shouldn't be heckling when people are asking questions. I am 
stating a fact that what you actually... Well, you have a, you have a, I, I asked the councillor to keep her mouth shut. Same with the other councillors. You get up here, you try to speak, and it's always one-sided. The left side of this, okay. this council attacks you constantly. Okay, councillor. Constantly. Ford. We don't do the same to them, so why... Okay, Councillor Ford. Okay, Councillor Ford. Well, Councillor Desette, Councillor Desette, it, it wasn't said publicly uh, through the mic as Councillor Vaughn yesterday insulted me and he did not apologize because he did not say it during the public session. So sorry, Councillor Desette. Okay, Councillor Vaughn, question to Mayor Ford. Sorry, Ford. This Your started. Time stopped. Your time started, was stopped. I, I lost Your time four, was stopped. I, I watched and I lost 40 seconds. No, it was stopped. No, it was stopped. I stopped your time. I stopped your time. When, when, a senior, when your senior resident speaks Farsi or Portuguese or Mandarin, do you support the motion in front of us that communication with Toronto Community Housing should be language specific to the, to the requirements of that? Any time I've had a problem with Toronto Community Housing, I've asked representation to go and we need an interpreter. A interpreter's always been there. No, no, I'm, all, not, all I'm the, not asking after the problem. I'm asking in advance of the problem so we're communicating. In the advance of a problem, if someone calls me, you support it, yes or no? Councillor Vaughan, I'm going to answer your question. Every time I've been called about going out Toronto Community Housing and there's a different language spoken, I ask for an interpreter. Every time, every single time, an interpreter's been there to convey the message and I'm there to help them out with the help of Toronto Community Housing and an interpreter. But would you support... And in his ward, all over I've been. But everywhere. would you support changing the way we communicate with residents when we're notifying them of rent arrears or possible eviction, that we do so in the language of their choice? Would you support that? At what cost? Would you support it? At what cost? <laughs> no, I'm not going to blindly write a check so when you, everything so that... Every, no, no, but no, no. The, the I'm don't. not going to blindly write a check. Okay, I've got your so answer. So you can, you can go and hi hire more friends and say, here, you know, um, here's a job at Toronto Community Housing. No, I'm not going to support hiring more people. We don't need more people. There's enough money there. There is a sur... I've got your and, answer. And, and, and as you saw... There is a surplus right now in shelter support and housing. Would you support using that to, 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 to fulfill the requirements and the recommendations that are in this report? We have to Will fix, you use that? We have to fix... Will you put more money to TCHC? We have to fix the capital repairs at Toronto Community Housing. I've seen it over and over and over. We have to get that fixed. What that dollar is, I think we have to sit down with Mr. Jones to determine that dollar. Would you support but, but, additional Mr. dollars for rent supplement and support? Councillor Vaughan, the mayor has answered yeah. the question. Well, it, it's, it's, the mayor has answered question. the question. Uh, you know, well, I don't want to use the hundred thousand dollars that you guys spent going to Vancouver, but you know what? That would be a good use of money. If you want to take a, don't take any more junkets and put all that money towards strong community housing, I will support that hundred percent. Based on, that 100 percent, based on that Vancouver 100 percent, no, based on here. any further trips that you take when you're on this council, on that trip, all that money can go to Toronto Community okay, Housing. Okay. On that trip to Vancouver, I'll support that. Okay, that's that's it for the questions. We're off topic. We're off topic. Okay, Councillor Matt, Councillor Vaughn, Councillor Matt, low question. Would you stop my time until I'm able to ask the questions? Yes, I just started it. I know, but I just he's he's yes. otherwise engaged. Okay. Stop Hello, Sonny. Stop his time. Please. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Councillor Matlow. Uh, thank you. Uh, I just, my first question, just to truly set the tone is, did you, did you hear my comments yesterday when I said, I'm not interested in, um, you know, whether it's uh, David Miller or you or anyone who gets blamed or credit. What I really want to see is leadership from all of us with you as mayor on this file. So uh, did you, do, you, do you understand that that's where I'm coming from? Um, yeah, I, I, I was distracted there. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. So, um, so uh, do, do you do you in fact support? Uh, me? It's not about pointing the finger. Yeah, it's not a saying. He he said, she said. But when the councillors here are unfairly attacking Mr. Jones's leadership at Toronto Community Housing, that's problematic, Councillor Matlow. That's a problem. When in one year this gentleman's done more than some people did in five years. Listen, I, I'm, With, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, so I'm not standing I, I'm here. I'm here to, and Mr. Yeah. Purvis, and the new board, yeah. and the councillors that sit on that board have worked 
tirelessly. Mr. Mr. Okay, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, Councillor Matt Lowe. I'm, not, I'm just letting yeah. you know. So I, go I, ahead. I, I actually said quite the opposite. I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm, I'm just asking you to understand that the questions I'm about to ask are really about how to move forward under your leadership and Council's leadership. So, first of all, uh, do, do you support, do you in fact support the recommendations that the Ombudsman has? I said, yeah, I've already answered that question, okay. some yes. of them. Some of them. Um, now, Mr. Jones has said that he accepts all of them. Okay, great. Then if he accepts all of them, then he's in charge of Toronto Community Housing. No okay. problem. I don't have a problem would, with that. Would you, agree, would you agree with me that there are often times that, um, you know, whether it be the city manager or Mr. Jones or anyone else, mm -hmm. who they say that they accept recommendations of the, of, of the ombudsman or other accountability officers, yeah. but then we don't often have a mechanism to know whether or not they've been indeed been implemented. Couldn't so, agree with you more. It happens a lot of times. And, 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 uh, and frankly, often when we move motions, we ask you know, for things to be done. We don't always know unless there's a right. mechanism put into the motion to have a follow-up that, that it has been done. Fair enough. So uh, I'm just asking, do you, would you support, um, uh, in my motion, for example, I hope you take a moment to review it, that there's simply a mechanism to know that what is what what has said that will be done will be done and then we can follow up so in other words there's going to be a report back uh by uh through the city manager from tchc to the council on on the implementation of the uh of the recommendations that we'd also want to hear back from the ombudsman um sure. if in fact she agrees that things have been done the way she was hoping they would be done and, and there's a, a component in the motion that when there are seniors, 59 and, and over, um, that are facing eviction due to arrears, that the ombudsman be uh, notified about that so that she can include into the report if in fact the changes have been made. What I hope to see done is that in March we're able to say, this is great, we actually, the things that were said to be done have been done, and then we can indeed no, I just, say I, that I just want to clarify what you're asking. Yeah. So, why not just say anybody? Why are we concentrating on seniors? If the Obensman's going to be in charge now of Toronto Community Housing and evictions, yeah. everybody should be going to the Obensman. I don't agree with that. Mr. Jones is responsible for Toronto Community Housing. I didn't see Fiona Crean as in charge of Toronto Community Housing. I can't support having Ms. Crean do Mr. Jones's job. Oh, it, it, that's not what I'm suggesting. I think that's what he said. Anytime no, no, there's no. an eviction, I think it should go to the CEO and he'll deal with it. I just want to remind you of these numbers. Yeah. I want to remind you of these numbers. Under his leadership, yep. fewer seniors, fewer people than any other year, going back to 2007, have been evicted. You know what? End of story. Let, let, let me, let me, you sir, get the sir, sir, I'll tell you this, yeah. uh, Cal Carol, Councillor Carroll, I'll, I'll let you know. The, yeah. No, no, Councilor you know what? Carol, I'll give you numbers, I'll give you numbers. Well, I, I read them out already, I'll read them again. You don't interrupt. Okay, 2007, 323 people were evicted. But this is 2008, 514 people were evicted. Ma ma no. ma ma Hold on, you're, no, you're hear, calling us. You, you. no, 2009, 427 people were evicted. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Councillor Carroll had no right. She was rude to ask you a question and Councilor interrupt Matlow Councillor Matlow. So the question is being asked from Councillor Matlow, not by Councillor Carroll. And hey, you so, know better than that, Councillor Carroll. No, no, Carroll. I want to finish this off. So, no, no. I want to finish, I want to finish this off. Let, under his like, leadership, like the mayor. under his leadership, the lowest number ever, you're rude, you're rude. 198 people. Yeah. Obviously, he has fixed the problem. Is it perfect? No. Some people are going to slip through the cracks. But when you go from 514 to 198, that's a huge, huge improvement. You go from 32 seniors in 2008 down to six. Down to six. M Mr. Mayor. Under his leadership. M Mr. Mayor, I'm, I'm, simply, I'm simply asking. You, you have said that you, you don't want anyone to fall through the cracks. I'm not, I'm not getting into a debate about, about leadership. I'm just saying. Sorry, Councillor Matlow, that's your time. Sorry, Councillor, I, I apologize that Councillor Carroll interrupted you in the middle of your question. Councillor Cho. Thank you, Madam Speaker, through your Mr. Mayor. You know, you said earlier in your speech, Mr. Mayor, that uh, you kicked out all the board members, the board of directors, TCHC, because they approved all the waste. And then we formed a new board member, and I wasn't board member previously, 
Then why did you kick me out? I didn't approve anyway. I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, Councillor Cho. I'll tell you why. When you're on the board and you see expenses go through, like these expenses again, you're part of approving this? $100,000 for two Christmas parties? I didn't approve that. Hold on, hold on. If you're on the board, if you're on the board, you must have seen that, this. That's the problem with our You must mayor. have seen this, Councillor. Councillor, listen, you must, you asked me why, you got kicked off. You voted not to replace the board after these outrageous expenses going out to restaurants and manicures and pedicures and Christmas parties. And you're saying approve it after the auditor said, this is killing the tenants. It's not There's true. Hundreds of thousand dollars getting squandered. I, I didn't approve even penny of wage thing. Okay, okay. I well, was then a new okay, member, it's either, it's two and I was here. sitting on the member only uh, on the board only two three months. You kicked me out, Councillor. You either didn't approve it, or you completely ignored it. So it's one or the other. So obviously you're on the board. You must have missed these expenses. Okay, Councillor Cho, your next okay. question, please. Next the question. Okay. You say your heart goes out to every tenant in TCHC if you care so much. Uh, which recommendation you will support? You say some of recommendations you're not going to support. What? I'm not, I'm not. So how many recommendations uh, our ombudsman made? I'd like to hear from you. She made numerous, probably close to 100. And if Eugene no, Jones no, no, accepts no, no. it, I don't not, have a problem numero, with it. Not 100. Okay. Our ombudsman made specifically 30 recommendations. Councillor, I've talked about this with Mr. Jones. He's agreed to it, fine. As you know, there's been other reports from the Ombudsman. I can't agree with all of it, generally speaking, but some of the stuff I think you've even questioned. As a matter of fact, I know you have. M so I, all I'm saying is I'm not gonna sit here and blindly say I approve everything in there when some questions have to be answered. Well, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to ask you directly, did you ever actually read the, all the recommendations made by the Ombudsman? Absolutely. I've been briefed how on many it. Are Absolutely. There? Then tell us which ones he's supporting. How many are there? I just told you this. There must be, how do you call a recommendation? Maybe 30, 100, 50, right? 100? No. 50 or 100? You obviously didn't read. Over all the, for all the recommendations? I'm, I'm, One recommendation like doesn't have. He's the mayor. If okay. he really Okay, that's, that's it. We're, we're not questioning at this point. Councillor Carroll, you're next. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, and uh, I want to thank the Mayor for his comments. Uh, uh, there's no question that the Auditor General's report is very, very serious business. But to today's report, to the thing we're dealing with today, um, I'm wondering if in your read of the report, um, you could talk to us about uh, situations of collecting rent from people who don't live in TCH. Well, I guess it's a bit of a challenge. Um, if someone doesn't pay rent. Well, what if they don't live there? No, 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 just, just, yeah, just ask me about paying rent. There? I mean, let me... If someone doesn't pay rent, the first thing I think you have to do, which they do, is send a notice. Oh, but no, just hear me anymore. out. You just hear me out, please. I'm asking please. about Mr. C. No, 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 no. I'm Councilor talking. Carol, you asked me about allow the mayor to answer the question. I'm asking about paying rent. Him, okay. 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 I'm, okay. Okay. I'm asking you about a very specific me. part of the report, and I want an answer about that. I'm not, specific. I'm not talking A, Bs, and Cs. I'm talking if someone doesn't pay their rent. Mayor Ford. Well, give me their name. That's it. That's it. No, there's no Mr. C. I don't go by Mr. C. That's fine. If you, if someone doesn't pay rent, if someone doesn't pay rent, you send them a notice. You send them another notice. No, hold on, just you hear me out, call me up. Come, please. Okay, 10 minute recess. Okay, so Councillor Davis, you're up next. Councillor Davis, questions. Uh, thank you, uh, Speaker. Mr. Mayor, um, so are you disputing the facts in this report? No, Council. You know what? I know one thing is when I inherited this mess. Just yes or uh, no? No, no, no. You're going to ask me a question. I'm going to answer the it. Facts it's not going to be the, the answer you may like, okay. but I'm going to answer it. Okay? 
All I know is that I inherited a mess at Toronto Community Housing. I know I've seen thousands of units. I know I have been to more units at Toronto Community Housing than any person in this council chamber. Speaker. Okay, just hear me out. Councillor Davis, allow me to answer the question. Uh, you invite, I'll go anywhere. Okay. Okay, hold on. So. I want to know, Mr. okay, we, you voted. Mr. I just want to get the record on, I just want to get this. I'm going to have to repeat Mr. it a few times. Mayor. When we said, after the auditor came out with that scathing Mr. report Mayor, on those I expenses. Have oh, hold on. Speaker, I have questions about Councillor Carroll, Councillor Cho, Councillor Davis, Councillor De Bearmaker, Councillor Doucette, Councillor Fillion. I'm answering it. I have questions about Councillor Fletcher, Fragadakis. I have questions about Count the Leighton, Councillor McConnell, Councillor Mahavik, Councillor Perks. Councillor Vaughan and Councillor Wan Tam. Hold on. Before Can you hear me out? I would like it. the mayor to all objected to removing the board when the auditor the came in that and said this is us. it's a scathing report, and you I support am that. Asking questions about the report. You support the misappropriation of funds when you know these people are doing uh, it right in front of you. Mayor, Speaker, on a point of privilege, you support the ombudsman. That is absolutely wrong. On a point wrong. of privilege, the mayor is just impugned my reputation by saying I supported well, yeah. the misappropriation right. of funds. When you know and the I would like him I'm to withdraw that remark. No. When you support when Speaker you support, on a point of privilege you must rule. Yeah, it's, it's on the record here. You voted Mayor Speaker you, you voted must rule support on a point these of privilege. lavish expenses. Thank you. You did. You most definitely did. I know the truth hurts Janet Mayor Davis Ford, but Speaker? it's true. Mayor Ford. Speaker and, and you too. You're the same one. I put your You supported time, too. I, yeah, you did. On, yeah, you did. I'm on hold. Yes, you did. I put the stop. The you timer. supported. Mayor Ford, please. Wait. I put this. Yes, Madam I Speaker. I know. Did Madam Speaker. Yes, you hold on. Madam Speaker. Mayor Ford, please hold I on. I want to bring to light what I Speaker, what I inherited. I would like you to rule on my point of personal privilege. He has impugned my reputation. He has accused me of supporting misappropriation of funds, and okay. I would like that remark Mayor Ford, withdrawn. Mayor Ford, please. Okay. okay. Oh, no, what I want to say. I'm going to repeat Ford, what I said. Mayor Ford. You knew those board members. Mayor, okay. I did. I stopped the time. I put the, the time on stop. Councillor Vaughn, please. Person. You support it too. You support it too. You, su you support it too. You said keep them in there. Keep them in there. Keep the money being spent. You did. You did. Put the time on Sure you did. I put the time on hold. I have. Just hold on. Hold on. Mayor Ford. Mayor Ford. What? Okay, hold on. going to have to ask you to apologize to Councillor Davis for the comment, for, to withdraw that comment you made to Councillor Davis. The mayor is withdrawing his comment. Yes. Okay, so Councillor Davis, I'm going to start your time again. Continue asking your question. His microphone okay. was not on, and I would like it publicly stated clearly about? Not, that okay. he withdraws the no, remarks okay, he made okay. about me. Okay, I've already done it. I've already okay, done it. Okay, Mayor Ford. All of the councillors. No, I've already done it. Hey, Davis, hold on. I've already done it. No, okay. you've heard it. I've done it. I'm not going to keep going on. I want to get to the bottom. You want to sit here and stick up for supporting these board members Speaker. that went out and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars Speaker. When we couldn't even fix people's hey, Councilor Davis, your time problems is on in their hold. unit. Your time is on Speaker. Hold. Your time is Speaker, okay. if I might yes, ask. Yes, Councilor again. Davis, just okay. hold on. I hear you. Thank you. I hear you. Just sit down. Just hold Thank on. You. When you made that comment, your mic was not on. So can you please repeat that? I did already. Withdraw it. Okay. Thank That's you. Councilor Davis, you can continue. Thank you very much. Nothing. Councillor Davis, you can continue. Point of order, Councillor Fillion, just a sec. Yes. Councillors, if you could please apologize to the rest of us. I've done it already. I, I said I would try it. So. To the okay. rest of us as well. All right. Thank you.
So, Council Mayor Ford, you'll withdraw I've, the I've comments done it, while, said it while members of council. 100 million times. Thank 100 million times. You. Thank right. you, Council. Now, Davis. I want to get back. Don't try to get off why you never supported me in getting rid of these board Speaker? members. Speaker, you asked. Let's answer me those questions. To ask questions. Hey, Councillor Mayor Ford, please allow Councillor Davis to continue asking her question. Councillor Davis. There were 75 <clears throat> evictions of seniors in 2011, or in total, between 2011 and 2012. 25 in 2011 and 50 in 2012. Those were the facts that were provided to the um, Ombudsman staff. They were provided with files. They reviewed each file separately. Are you disputing the facts that the Ombudsman provided to us that were provided to her and her staff by TCHC. What I'm saying, and I'm going to repeat it, in 2007, 320... And the answer is yes. 2007... Don't agree uh, with the facts. Uh, uh, 323 people were evicted. Compared to when Mr. Jones took over, 198. No, I've got the facts here. These are the facts, okay? Okay, so you're don't 2008, agree with the hold on, under, under your friend's administration, who are supposed to care about the people at Toronto Community Housing, which is a bunch of baloney, 514 people were evicted. Okay. So it's been Mayor? cut in half. Why were they evicted? It's cut in Mr. half. Mayor? Councillor Vaughan, please. There was also recommendation in here of the 30 recommendations, not 50 no, to please. 100. 30, 50. In which... In what, which what, what it asks you're talking for about? The more massages report social services and mental health supports to be provided to the tenants. Forget it. You don't, you Do you support, support that we should be providing more services and support services to tenants that no, we fund, nobody supports, particularly nobody through our grants Toronto program and through other funding? Do. Okay. Nobody supports okay. Toronto okay. Housing That's enough. That's enough. You're finished, Councillor uh, Davis. Councillor McConnell, questions? Councillor Davis, you weren't asking questions. Councillor McConnell. Um, thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, Mr. Mayor, I just uh, want to make sure um, that we're focusing on what's important, which is really the Ombudsman's report and the death of a senior and a number of, of seniors that were in real trouble. And I want to make sure that we're not getting personal. Okay? Uh, and I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be personal. Um, I, I, I do, however, and I want you to listen to this carefully. Sorry, that wasn't to me. What was that? Okay. Mr. Mayor, over here. Um, when you put out the numbers uh, for the evictions... <laughs> Rob, what are you doing? Kissing Adam Vaughn. Oh, okay. Adam Vaughn's blowing me kisses. Uh, Madam Speaker, could we start again, please? Oh, I don't know. I, I, Mad I Madam Speaker. Okay, I'll just, well, just one sec, Councillor McConnell. Let me put Sorry, you. I, I don't know. Please. Just ask the questions. I, I'm going to ask you to please w move. Please leave your seat. No, the Okay. No, I know. But it, it, you know what? It goes both ways. You know, you know what? There are some members of council that don't like to be criticized and caught, but then, then they do the same thing to other members of council. So... Please, if you want to respect each other, respect each other. And Councillor Bond, you're very childish. Very childish. It's ridiculous. Okay. Councillor McConnell, you can continue. Start my time again, Madam Speaker. I haven't asked one question yet. Can you please? Well, that's because Councillor Vaughan. Okay, no, just a sec, just a sec. Hold on. Councillor Fletcher, I cannot, if, you ha if you're standing here talking to me. Councillor McConnell, question. So, Mr. Mayor, um, could you um, agree to the following? Um, that when you're looking at those numbers of evictions in the previous administration, would you please make sure that you take out the evictions that were necessary for the Regent Park and Alexander Park numbers uh, in order to move people into the next, uh, into the next piece. They, they weren't part of these numbers. Yeah, they are actually. So, uh, no, they're actually not, Councillor okay. uh, McConnell. 
Then you will check and when make I'll, sure that's all I my question When I took over this, was. it was a complete mess. It really bothers me so, that you Mr. voted Mayor. against removing these board members Mr. that you Mayor, know the auditor said it. they went out and You're spent doing money. It again. That You're was doing hurting it again. tenants. That was hurting You're doing tenants. it again. I asked you not to be personal. I, I, okay? can, I can sleep my like a baby at night question. because you know what? I know I've helped out thousands of my people second question, in Toronto Madam Community Speaker, Housing. He's not answering. My second question is, in item uh, um, two, 450, a member of TCHC staff said that we don't have enough time to do the follow-up on the annual review. Would you agree that time needs to be given to our staff to be able to make sure that we don't let people not give their annual review and therefore be bumped up to market rent. Would you agree that's that our, that's, that's important? Up, that's up to the CEO of Toronto Community Housing. Right. I'm not going to go in and tell Mr. Jones how to run Toronto Community Housing. Just like I you wouldn't want Mr. That. Jones to come and tell you how to take care of your constituents. Thank you. That, I, actually, Mr. Jones and I work together on those things. 487. 487 says that we have a problem, a problem you may or may not be aware of, which is people go off disabilities and then they go on to old age pension. When they are on disabilities, they pay $176 a month. When they go on to old age pension, which is not that much more, they pay almost $400 a month. Those people, those very vulnerable people, which is what the Ombudsman is saying, what Mr. Jones is agreeing, need to have that transition over that period of time. In other words, they need their hand held through that process. Do you agree with that uh, recommendation? I mean, I'm, not, I'm not in charge of Toronto Community Housing. I'm asking we hired, and recommend. we hired a gentleman to answer those exact questions. What he feels is appropriate, I support. He has a proven track record of success. That's fine. He's done a Mr. fantastic job in, in the last year. Just hear me out, please. Number nine, please, three, please. nine, three. He, he's allow him to showing, answer. It took he, you a he, minute to ask that question. Allow him to answer. He's showing the efficiencies that we expected of him. He came in. To the procurement has been. Come, oh, come on, please now, let me McConnell, answer the question. The mayor please. can answer the question any way he wants to because that's the way you asked it. He came in with procurement practices saving over five and a half Talk million dollars. Transition, Mr. Mayor. Councilor from McConnell. Come on, just let me age. answer the question. Councilor please. McConnell, allow the mayor to answer the question. He transferred the fleet over to, to our fleet. That's two and a half million dollars and say Mayor, he has a, nothing he, to do with the yes. transition. Councilor McConnell. Allow him to answer the He's question. He's holding every single employee accountable. About Much to your this. chagrin, I understand that. Over $10 million just scratching the surface, Councillor McConnell. We're talking about this. We're talking about this. And you're asking me, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to tell him how to do his job. He does a fantastic job at what he does. I know I do a fantastic job in helping people in Toronto community housing. If they call me, I will be there. I welcome you to come for a tour of my next Toronto Community Housing um, meeting. Actually, I was in your ward, when was it, a couple weeks ago, I was down in Okay, in your Mayor ward. Ford, Councillor McConnell, you can ask you know one what? more question. That's an improvement. Mayor Ford, Mayor Hold Ford. On. No, allow Councillor McConnell to ask the question. Area, and there was a huge improvement, thanks to Mr. Jones, and maybe partially thanks to you. Well, you didn't invite me, so... Well, no, I've been to your buildings a few times, as you know, and there's a huge improvement I, I when I go to Toronto know. Community Housing now. Me. Uh, I've seen it firsthand, Councillor. I've seen question. it firsthand. Last question. 393 states that it's actually easier to evict for arrears than it is for antisocial behavior. Do you agree that this you housing... Let me you know finish. You're asking Let me finish my so question. Do you agree that you know this what? housing company it's needs some help? from us to make sure that there are people available Mr. to Jones, help people he, as asked. they get into dementia and as they get into old age. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Mayor Ford, finish, finish. Questions are finished. Our next speaker is Councillor Shiner. Okay, Mayor Ford, that's it. Councillor Shiner to speak. Okay, Mayor Ford, your time's up. Councillor Shiner to speak. Madam Speaker, do we even have a quorum here? Yeah, let's have a quorum.